Welcome everybody, this is Baby Stick alongside of Stick Work. We're here again with Manschool.com and we're excited about this one, bringing you the first ultimate team that we have created on here. We're going to do a little bit of commentary along with some tips in game, so I think this should be a lot of fun. Stick Work, kind of just let them know what's going to be going on today. Alright everyone, it's Stick Work and we're back again. And uh, as you've seen... Uh, before the game started, we're actually 5-0. and We've played a few games just to get it kind of going. And we're, we're looking to make a push to the top of the leaderboards. We're looking to help you guys get better at uh, playing the game of Madden. And uh, as you see, we're running the... Wow. Already Landry. hitting, boy. <laughs> Goodness gracious, that man is a grown man. Yeah, that's the that is the captain of our defense so far. Good old Dewan Landry got him out of one of the little pro packs who we just seem to never get anybody good out Ever. of. Ever. But Ever. you know, we stick with it. And anyways, as I was saying, we're running the Atlanta Falcons defense with the Indianapolis offensive playbook. Now I think uh for the fans and the viewers that are watching it, we've got a quite a bit of pretty good plays out of this Indianapolis playbook. Do you think that maybe there's anything that's going to be, you know, posted ahead? Uh, honestly, yes. That is uh, something we're definitely getting into. We are chefing up in the kitchen, cooking it on up, adding the salt, the pepper, and we are cooking up a hot ebook. Yeah, so an ebook will eventually be available. This is by far, I think, the best offense on this game. And, you know, purchasing this ebook could completely change your Some offense. Some of the passes are just unreal, as you see hitting Calvin Johnson right there. Calvin Johnson's actually a player they give everyone. He's only like an 80 overall on this particular one, so. We don't really have that strong of a team. As you see, we got Bruce Gradkowski back there. We got a Golden Tate, decent receiving core, not anything special. But yes, an ebook is for sure in the near future over at MaddenSchool.com. Now you got dropping back, and that is one of the plays. Doesn't really work out there, but uh, definitely some glitchy stuff there where you're throwing to a different receiver. Yeah, <laughs> definitely <laughs> some glitchy stuff goes on. Not all the plays are shown in this uh, gameplay because honestly, they just weren't necessary. What I was running was already working. We, we got a lucky fumble, if you will, in the beginning. Dewan's just out there taking heads. He just he just doesn't care. And, oh, boy, look Go at Go ahead. Bruce. Take look off, young Bruce. fella. Oh, <laughs> that's great a ball player. speed from the old <clears throat> white man. You got to love that. And they put six up. And you can go ahead and fire the cannons, Tampa, as they go up seven in the first. That's quick. Yeah, it was a quick score. A uh, quick way to really come out and uh, let your opponent know, hey, we're here to play. Now, uh, before, yeah, now before we get into defense, just kind of what are, what are you doing on the defensive side? You said what playbook, but uh, do you have any kind of certain play that we're going with here? Yeah, actually the 4-6 bear under formation, and I'm running the LB dog scheme. Uh, Madden, Madden School actually has it on their website. Yeah, they're going to get it early, they're going to get it off, and they're going to get it late, too. You know, yeah. you just keep running it down their damn throat. <laughs> All the time. And uh, as you see, he's going to run there. We're going to get our guy, and we're going to make a tackle. Those A tackles are unreal in this game. Yeah, um, we kind of found that out the hard way, I feel like. <laughs> you know, really just looking to hit stick like we did on our first possession. It works out great, but again, high risk, high reward, because the A tackle's going to take him down most of the time. And you can whiff quite a bit in this new man, which I do like because it's kind of realistic. Going for big hits isn't always going to work out. Yeah, and as you see, there is another A tackle. You just really grab them by their feet, trip them up, and they're going down. It's a pretty sure tackle. Um, usually out there just hit stick in air, and they're breaking off runs they don't even deserve because I'm just being an idiot. Yeah. But uh, I'm starting to really adjust well to the new Madden. Been playing some money games on the side every once in a while when I got some free time. Now how and, do you get uh, the Lions in? Is that Stafford too? I think that might be Stafford, isn't it? 
That's Tony Romo, actually. Oh, just kidding. It Tony looked like Romo. Stafford. I was about to say, this guy's got Johnson and Stafford. He might be cheating, but no. Okay, <laughs> so Romo's going to look to lead the Lions today. And uh, I don't think he's going to be able to do it because this Bucks defense is here to play. Yeah, we're here to play. As you've seen on the last play, I really froze up. The guy was standing right there on his little curl route. And I seen him, knew he was going to throw to him, and froze up and didn't go over and pick the ball off. Yeah, does, uh, just kind of looking at that play, you obviously had very good user. Does it matter who you are using in the LB Dogs package? Um, personally, I like to use her either the safety who's Dewan Landry right there or that linebacker in the yellow zone on the right side of the screen. I normally just use her one of the yellow zones because I like the deep blues. I don't like using those because... If I get caught just trying to lurk something, then all of a sudden somebody's got me beat up top if yeah. they're smart. Uh, for for whatever reason in the new men, you got to be careful because sometimes safeties and cornerbacks on 50-yard passes just don't, you know, they're too lazy to put their hands yeah. up and they're just going to give it and to the offensive right player. Right there, the safety just literally ran away Left from the ball. Luckily, uh, the corner laid the wood and pop the ball loose and he's got a fourth and 12 to deal with and actually i want to say the man decides to go for it never a good choice when you're getting screamed at and never gaining yards so i don't know what he's thinking here but as a as a player i freaking love it you know <laughs> yeah. we're gonna send him with the same defense we've talked about that before but also fourth and 12 i think it's the best thing is to not change up anything you know uh, tell them a little bit why that is. You know, in a third down and long in real life, you're going to change up. You're going to put extra DBs back there. Why is it a little bit different in Madden stick work? Uh, Madden, well, at the end of the day, Madden is a video game. I don't care how realistic it looks these days. You still got to treat this as a video game because crazy stuff happens. At the end of the day, it's not completely realistic. And as you see there, we send them, we get the sack, and now we got the ball back again. Yeah, that's one uh, of my uh, biggest problems, I think. On third and, like, 18s, I'll play two great downs, and then I'll kind of, oh, okay, it's third and 18, let's play cover four and zone out everybody. And for whatever reason, if you don't send the same kind of heat, you know, it just ends up getting a 25-yard gain. So just kind of stick with your game plan as a, as a quick tip on defense. And just kind of, you know, keep putting pressure on them. Yeah, that, that's mainly what I love doing. I love just sticking to my game plan, my formations, what I'm doing. As you see here, I'm going to basically run this split close all game while I audible to a few runs and some different formations, stuff like that. But I'm going to give him basically the same look every time. He I don't broke. even know how he got that. I don't tackle. either. He's completely blocked up, but a good <laughs> run uh, is that – Inside zone, you have anything for us uh, on that? Because it seems to work every time. Zone. Wow, that's honestly just all I gotta say is wow. It's uh, that's gonna be the run play this year. I feel like it's really good. Yeah, strong power and some of the counters were popular in the other games for whatever reason. Inside zone, your linemen finally decide, hey, maybe we should block, and they do it real well, they and you're gonna really pick up well. a lot of yards on any kind of inside zone. Kind of to go back what I was saying before is basically on almost both sides of the ball, I like coming out in the same look on every play, uh, except here when I'm on the goal line, I'm really just trying to pound it in. But as for everything else, I like having the same look, so my opponent really has no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I feel like with your plays, you know, especially if you do decide to purchase that ebook. There's going to be a lot of ways that you come out in the same play, and you really have 15 or 16 different looks that you can give the defense. Exactly. It's it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like poker, if you will. Uh, you're playing poker, and you don't play a thousand different hands one way. You play one hand a thousand different ways. Right. And that way you're always keeping your opponents off Yeah, guard. exactly. If they're playing defense against someone who's in the same formation every time, you know, and you're switching it up, they have no idea what's coming, and you can just keep pounding. And obviously if there's good plays coming out of it, it's almost impossible to stop. Exactly, exactly. You're going to see the same formation. Sometimes I'm going to go deep out of it. Sometimes I'm going to keep it a short pass. Sometimes I'm going to run out of it. And at the end of the day, it's going to look all the same to my opponent. And he's he's going to have to be ready for anything. 
And same way on defense, I'm going to be blitzing you, blitzing you, blitzing you. Then all of a sudden, everyone's back in coverage, and it still looks exactly the same. So with 3.04 left in the second quarter, the Bucks go up 14 nothing. We'll do a little on-field reporting as they take the ball to 20 and look for the screen. They do complete it out to the 25 to the 30. It gets a block there. And I don't know how you feel about screens, but it seems they're average, you know, in this game. You can't really, I can't, haven't been able to really tell. Uh, probably not uh, worth running, honestly. Nah, I, I don't personally like screens ever in Madden. To the 40, um, to, the, to, to the 30, to the 20. I hate to, you know, interrupt you there, but that got ugly. <laughs> That's <laughs> just bad stick. Yeah, I mean, it happens, <laughs> But I didn't give know? up on the play. No, and typically you do, and I love the fact that you did go and stop him because, I mean, it's going to be tough for him to even get in. Though. Yeah, goal line D is where I feel I really excel at. Yeah. Uh, when they get in this scenario right here, they better get break off the run because if they're trying to pass it in, it's not going to happen. But yeah, I feel like especially in goal line, you know, people are going to try to run the hurry up for whatever reason to try to maybe keep you off guard, but it ends up not working quite a bit of the time. And you yeah. see he's gaining zero yards. I put that guy in a flat zone actually, just because I know look, people love to go to the flats for whatever reason at the goal line. And I'm just going to put flat or flat zones out there, and we're going to bottle it up. And right here, I'm going to go to my patent, patented cover two press right at the goal line. We're going to put everyone in zones Make besides beat one you. guy, and he's got to beat me. He runs a toss there, which got kind of scary oh my for me. Oh, goodness. <laughs> wow. Pancake, put that in the step. That guy just got murdered. Yeah, that was something else. I honestly like the uh, – some of the I-form tosses in this game, they really actually block well, and you can typically get to the outside if you have a somewhat faster back. Yeah, in the other games, I, I would always want to run that I-form toss, and then I'd lose four or five yards every time. But it seems like Madden 16, they did a little bit better job of letting you get to the corner and picking up some yards. Yeah, and uh, to go back to the screens that we were talking about, personally, as a Madden player, I hate screens and would typically never run them. But in this Madden, if you catch your opponent off guard, you can break off a screen for a decent gain. I'd never like to run them because if the opponent's user is on the side of the field you're running the screen to. And they're not horrible. Yeah, they're either going to pick you off or you're going to get screwed and you have to get sacked. Because on a screen, there's not really any other reads, especially in these Maddens. You can't hot route screens anymore so yeah there's going to be no time so if yeah. your screen's not open you know I, honestly it's not going to hurt you though once a game twice a game i think it could be beneficial yeah, if you just if you just uh put it in there every once in a while like you're saying it's gonna it's gonna go well if you catch your opponent off guard no, i feel like i've seen that play before for whatever reason it's kind of like a weird out route um it, it, what are you running that against usually uh, normally, I like running that against man. I normally, get kind of jumbled up, and he gets open. I think it's kind of ironic what we're about to run here. What is going on here? Oh, not yet. I'm sorry, folks. That's uh. But Bruce. Bruce is gonna take. He's got off. legs and just gets down, avoids the hit, and wow, another Buccaneer first down. I think it's actually gonna be this play. With 57 and seconds left, they finally crossed the 50, looking to do some more damage. And what do you know? You were right. <laughs> a nice little screen. You know, change things up. It does get you 12. I mean, it, it takes no skill, really. But, I mean, they yeah. work. So if sometimes you, you got to hit them. you can blocks and maybe put a juke on. I like those jukes in this game as well. Yeah, the jukes got, I think, a lot better. Yeah, they are re they really can uh, fool the defense, I guess, is the way to put it. And then there, that's a wide receiver corner, which is also featured at MaddenSchool.com. And that's just really a great money play. Yeah, which, now that we're making the ebook, it's kind of exciting. Cause some of these plays that aren't even featured in this are really scary. The offense that will get scary. That offensive ebook will be explosive. You will put up a lot of points on whoever you're playing your friend your enemy your mom your mom's sister doesn't matter the whole family <laughs> can grab and pick up the sticks and they're gonna get blown out so uh 
definitely something you want to look for in the near future as the Bucks are taking it down again. This is starting to turn into a little bit of a blowout. Uh, definitely, definitely uh, really got my foot on his neck right here. And we're not going to take it off. Mm. As you see there, wide receiver corner again. We're going to hit Calvin Johnson. That route is honestly one of the best routes in the game. Yeah, zone or man. He's kind of going to get free. It's an awkward kind of like corner route but uh the other routes in the package really help out and let him get exposed so yeah here i'm almost in a tough spot 11 seconds at the one no timeouts can't really afford to run the ball because if i don't get in that's gonna basically do it for the half so i'm basically put these curls on the field and i'm gonna use the lb pat well X is just wide open because yeah. he was in man. On oh, man, if you can get that kind of corner out, they can't stick with them in this Madden. So that's definitely something that you want to look for if you can before the play is snapped. You know, look and see if it's man. It definitely helps and, out. Uh, I normally come out in the wide receiver corner, and that play that we just ran right there at the goal line is actually in the audibles, which we will talk way more about in the ebooks. We'll show you how and when to run each specific play, uh, what to audible to, how to just really put the pressure on your opponent to where it's almost unbearable and to where they're almost just going to want to turn off their Xbox completely, maybe yeah. even sell the game. Sell the game, you know, possibly have to go buy a new controller because it's going to get very frustrating. I actually, with the whole ebook thing, uh, stick work, you being a little bit more experienced player, you're going to see me actually play the second half, but I didn't use really anything. I used my patented horrible <laughs> offense and just picked random plays. Yeah. And you can see it doesn't go well. But using an ebook and knowing the plays, not even an ebook, but just knowing the plays that you're going to run some beforehand. Sort of scheme. Yeah, exactly. Is It makes you a completely different player. Just because when you're going out and just picking a random play because it looks cool, that that's not what you want. You want to know why you're running the play why you're running it in the situation, how it works, the reason it works. Even even so, like on when you're on the defensive side of the ball, you know how to stop something when your opponent throws it at you. Yeah, way to, it allows you to alter your zones, you know, change it up as I'm just getting absolutely <laughs> wild here. Uh, it does work out. But. So that's your first pass. Uh, take me through what's going on in your head right there. What are you even thinking? Basically, I look at verticals X shallow, not knowing anything about it really, and I saw a lot of deep routes, hoping they could just get wide open. They don't, and I just dump down and get real lucky there, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to critique you a lot while you're playing yeah. your first half of our ultimate team. I did get a couple speeches during this game, kind of just explaining to me what is the point of this. <laughs> I'm just, uh, it's just got me, it's just got me lost for words. I just, you don't know what you're running, and it gets bad almost. Yeah, it does get bad, and this is kind of, I think it's a good example of just showing how much, you know, I, I would compare our stick work and, you know, our our ability to read the field and play defense about the same, you know, close to it, but again, I just don't know what plays to run. Exactly. I'm starting to learn, though, so as you see in the upcoming videos, if we do post them, I'll start to figure it out, you yeah, know, get we're some gonna, points on the board. We're going to teach you, and we're going to help you get to where you need to be, get to tournament level yeah i think that's what i mean some of the viewers are going to want because that's where they want you know be exactly and... everybody tuning in is not going to be you know a experienced madden player and know what what all's going on so this is definitely going to help out exactly at the end of the day i've been playing madden for years now you're newly coming aboard and if you, honestly if you can get to the next level Anyone that's viewing, <laughs> that's level. Very, very true, as much as that kind of pains me to say. But yeah, I have been getting a lot better. Fourth and 14, not to cut you off, we're going to decide to go for this one. Yeah, um, really horrible decision here, but I got to say hashtag never punt. Just kind of a real pride Let's thing that's what inside you're going me. With. So you're going with four verticals. Got to, you know, I don't got anything else, but... uh. E, I don't see Nobody's anybody open. open. Hey, kind of. Oh, oh, goodness gracious! And that that's is gonna why turn the ball over we have an offensive down. scheme right there. That's you know, yeah. at, least, at least it keeps the game a little bit closer for the viewers who are just watching to see you know the good old Lions take on the Bucks. Yeah, but like you were saying, I think that is a very good example to see why you're just 
you should be coming out in your scheme with your game plan, having the same look all the time. Because as you're picking random plays, say you're in an I form formation, I as a player basically know you're about to run the ball. Yeah, I got to run and the then, ball or it's going to be a horrible play action. Exactly. And then once you just hop all of a sudden into, I don't know, empty tray open, I know you're passing. Yeah, you're right. You know, I don't really think, you know, the the casual Madden player doesn't think that out and then they kind of get mad when, you know, they have everybody else in defense and pass commit and mm -hmm. the, and then they're angry. That exactly. It gets and off. then so if you're playing me and I'm in split close all game, you honestly have no idea what to expect. Exactly, because you can bust probably three or four runs out of that that are all going to be pretty good runs and pick up good yards, and then the pass plays are pretty much unlimited. The hot routes that you will see in the ebook are non you, you can't stop half of them. So uh, that definitely helps. But I, you know, I, I'm starting to get the defense down. You're starting to learn it, the LB dogs. You've really been labbing it with me. I've been showing you why it works. You've been starting to understand concepts. Right. I kind of give up on it here because I'm just playing like a bum. But uh, I put my guys in purples and get a lucky tackle. But my stick crazy, <laughs> boy, and I get a big old hit. So I'll take that. So uh, a little bit to go back to the ebook. I think you can honestly attest to this. You've seen me play some of the money games. You've seen what the offense can do. Can you tell some of the viewers what has happened to some of the money game players um, that I have played against with the offense? Well, you know, they come out real confident in the first quarter, and their defense, you know, they think it's going to go well. They've got their whole little plan ready. And I don't know if you've ever seen the tip of a matchstick, but it just gets torched <laughs> over and over again. And that's what happens to these opposing defenses. Uh, it doesn't really matter how good they are at covering or doing anything, staying in a zone with a receiver. It's just going to get torched all day long. I feel like no matter what the opponent's in, when I see what they're doing on defense, I immediately know what to pick to beat it exactly with with the uh with the ebook offense we're gonna you know unveil or unleash to you uh, guys it Eek. looks like you got caught there really <laughs> fell for the play fake there yeah that's tough you know <laughs> i don't really want to talk about it too much but it wasn't my best performance on d and so, i let him get back in. so right now you're down seven nothing but that's okay because i uh, try to get in there it didn't work yeah and uh so to go back to what we were talking about um, I, not to brag at all, but I beat a guy in a money game. He said I got lucky, and he sent the rematch for more money. So I played him, and I was kind of annoyed that he said I got lucky. I don't know if you've ever seen a quarterback just go 15 for 15 passing with over 300 yards and four touchdowns, but I did that yeah. with this offense. Yeah, it does seem... 28 a, nothing a, was the score. A little braggadocious there, but I did see that game firsthand, and... Uh, it was almost scary. The dart show was unreal. Yeah, by he, uh, Zach, so. I feel like the second game, he kind of ate his words there and kind of just took that one uh, on the chin. Yeah, know? there's almost nothing to say. It's like it's almost like the people that uh, come at Ronda Rousey. They're coming at her, yeah, I'm going to whoop her. I'm going to really come in this fight and just win. And then they're knocked out in 37 seconds. Yeah, Rhonda <laughs> is my main chick. I don't know if she watches Madden videos, but Rhonda, if you're listening, you know, hit us up. Baby shout, stick, stick word. Shout out to Rhonda. I see you just broke off a you huge bet. run there. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited. I'm seeing you moving the ball now. Let's uh critique a little bit. You just audible to a random play again. You hit him. Yeah, I, I can re that's the thing. I can read the field pretty well, and if you're watching this video, you're obviously not horrible at Madden. You're going to be able to read open receivers, and that's really what it's about. However, if I used a decent offense and still read the field the same way, I'd be picking up 30 and 40 without a chance for a pick instead of 5 and 6 and maybe a pick every other play. Exactly, and honestly, uh, you just – you your problem is you just need to learn how to adjust your plays more like i said i stress staying in the same formation if you're in the same formation you can really just audible and hot route you can adjust to what your opponent's doing and that's really the key to the game that's what uh basically just getting reps and playing more games will teach you you'll learn how to uh basically just adjust to the different variances of the game. Um, How'd you like that, though? Andre Ellington just putting his...
darn head down and get in the first for me. I love it. I love it. Uh, I'm hoping you can honestly punch one in here yeah, so you can at least six, tie up the your half. counter. You know, uh, I'm wow. still. Wow. I was confident, and then first down didn't go well. You're still thinking it's Madden 15 there. Yeah, counter, not so good in this game. little tip for you right there, as you saw. Pretty what, bad. What are we going with here? i just seen you go on a five-wide set. Honestly, love this play. You're going to scream at me for it, but wide receiver screen worked in the old ones. Doesn't work so good in here, but bang, we get a block, and I get into the end zone. So feels good, baby. Fire the cannons, and they're on their feet in Tampa. You can't beat it, baby. I mean, <laughs> you got in. Some will applaud you for that. It was a atrocious way of getting it. Felt good, though. It, didn't I'm look sure good. it felt good. Didn't it didn't good. look good, but it felt good. The runs weren't bad. Like, you were running some of the inside zones, which, as we've said earlier, are very yeah. high-powered runs. And in those out of any formation are really going to be good. There's certain formations that we will show you in the ebook that are going to be devastating, but... I kind of picked a couple there, and it doesn't really matter, and I still picked up some good exactly. yards. Exactly. And so on defense, as we were talking about, you started running the LB dog scheme, and um, not not to criticize you or anything, but right. I feel like the way <laughs> the the way I run it is different to the way you run it would you agree to that statement uh correct you know i'm trying to just get it set up in the beginning and i struggle with that but once you you know once you study and actually pay attention to the playbook oh my goodness you just pick that one hand <laughs> oh it's so gross yeah but I, it's definitely a difference you know i don't really know what i'm doing when i'm changing it and i'm not changing it towards the player on offense so that can be a real difference yeah yeah basically the play is going to be good when set up correctly you're going to get the heat and the zones are already good but what you guys will learn the more you play the game and the more you just figure it out is how to adjust the zones to your opponent so you can stop whatever they are doing and that's basically what separates I guess the good from the great, if you will. Completely true. You know, I can be decent because I'm picking the play, but once you pay attention to some of our videos or your videos mostly, you know, you're going to start to realize what's going on and how to affect and change, you know, your defensive scheme. Not to uh, really, you know, kill everybody's vibe on this absolute barn burner, <laughs> but... The Bucks are up 18, and they're probably going to look to just pound the rock here and yeah. maybe, maybe get out of out of Tampa with a W. Definitely get out of Tampa with a W here. Uh, it These videos, I think, are great. I feel like uh, I'm learning. I learn from myself. I learn from looking at this and seeing the mistakes I made in the first half. Obviously, you played the second half. I'm sure you've even seen some things. You could hit holes differently, hit different receivers. Um, I feel like this is good for us. I feel like you're learning, you're getting better at the game. Yeah, and if I'm learning, getting better at the game, anybody who's watching is probably right around the same skill caliber as me, and you're definitely going to be better by listening, you know, tuning in. And just learning, learning the game, and honestly, we want feedback, though. We want to know what you guys like about this, what you guys don't like, just what what we can do to help better it for you yeah let us know on the commentary you know you want more on the field stuff the old fire the cannons and you know some on field stuff or just more plays you know break them down we could probably go slower and give more detail yeah but whatever you guys are into you know we have fun making these and we want to keep making them so just let us know obviously if you're hopefully you're not just tuning in but it is madschool.com and uh, a little, little bit, another screen. Yeah, hey, you threw a screen there. And, uh, it's obvious your opponent just wants this game over with. Yeah, so I go and hit the stanky leg for a couple <laughs> times, quiet the crowd down, so I can really focus on my dance moves. But uh, I enjoyed this. As we said, let us know about anything. My name is Baby Stick, and I'm Stickwork, and we're from MaddenSchool.com. And thank you guys for watching. Yeah, please stay tuned and uh, we'll see you soon.